Hey guys, so we're back for day six. I am a little behind, so I'll just film both right now. We'll do day six and seven in the same video. And so promises for your everyday life. Uh, 365 Daily Devotions by Joyce Meyer. Relying on God. I believe every time we feel frustration, it means we've really stopped relying on God. That may sound like a bold statement to you, but think about it. God's given you and me his Holy Spirit and his grace to help us walk through anything that comes our way. Frustration hits when we stop depending on him and try to make something happen our own way. Understanding this really helped me. Every time I became frustrated, I reminded myself that what I was really doing was trying to take the place of the Holy Spirit. I was trying to be Holy Spirit Jr. Trying to be Holy Spirit Jr. <laughs> Do you struggle with an independent spirit when you refuse to depend on God? In essence, you're saying, okay, God, I appreciate that you're around, but watch me do this. Depending on God for everything may be difficult, but it's the key to the victory we need every single day of our lives. When God saved us, he didn't help us and then say, okay, that's it. You're on your own now. He's eternally saved us, which means if we depend on him, he will guide us and help us. Galatians 5.16 urges us to walk and live in the Holy in the Spirit. Then you will certainly not gratify the cravings and desires of the flesh. Notice that it doesn't say conquer the flesh independently. Then you will certainly not gratify the desires of the flesh. No, it says to live in the Holy Spirit. Choose to stop living independently and instead rely on the Holy Spirit. I promise you won't regret it. The prayer started for day six is, God, you are all I need. Help me not to trust in myself but to put my trust in you and to rely only on you. Amen. Okay, now, day seven. Jesus is our example. Love is something that can be seen. It is seen in the fruit of the Spirit working in our lives, in our behavior and how we treat people. Love has many facets or different ways we can see it. For example, when a diamond ring is held up to the light, it can sparkle in various ways depending on which way it is turned. I believe love also sparkles in different ways, depending on how we look at it. 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4 to 7, gives us examples of the many facets of love. Love endures long. It has the ability to put up with stuff for a long time. Love is never envious. It doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love is not boastful or vainglorious. It doesn't call attention to itself. Love is not conceited or rude. Love doesn't insist on its own way. Love pays no attention to a suffered wrong. Love never gives up. These are just a few ways we're supposed to love others, and it's also the way God loves us. 1 John 4, 8 says that God is love. He loves us and has saved us, so now we can share his love with others. To imitate God, we have to look at Jesus, a perfect representation of God who lived out all of the descriptions of love in 1 Corinthians 13. He always acted in love in every situation, even when people came against him. Colossians 3 verse 12 through 14 says, to clothe yourself, to clothe yourselves therefore as God's own chosen ones and above all these love and above all these put on love like jesus let's clothe ourselves in love and choose to follow his example bringing honor and glory to god the prayer starter for day seven is god you have shown me what love is like by loving me first help me to follow the example of jesus and live out all the facets of love in my day-to-day -day life amen we'll see you back tomorrow for the next one.